Hey, my awesome Time Lords and Time Ties Travis, Gary from Team Mini 14 here. And today, I'm going to show you how to fix Fallout 3. So, uh, this is going to be a repair. So, your Fallout 3 crashes, right? Because uh, you installed, like, mods and stuff, like all of this, and you're like, Ugh, I'm annoyed with the mods and stuff. It's so annoying. And you also installed it with this little guy called Vortex. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, fix Fallout 3. It's going to be easy. So what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, what's going to be linked in the description below for you. If you can just grab it. There we go. You're going to need Intel Bypass Package and the Fallout 3 error fixes. So what you want to do is you want to open up Intel Bypass as soon as it loads. You're also going to need WinRAR for this, so I'll provide that for you guys as well. So you want to take that, and you want to go to your documents, go to My Games, Fallout 3. What you want to do is, you want to take that, and you want to replace it with that. If it says to replace it, you uh, say yes to that, and then it will do that. And then, also you want to put it, which is, um, excuse me for a sec, so I can remember this, hang on, okay, sorry about that, um, so what you want to do is, uh, take your bypass, you want to replace it in here, it will replace that, it will also change, um, the word fallout, right here, here's the, it will configure the settings for you, and then over here, which is, uh, you want to close this, after because I'm gonna show you this so you want oh dear hang on <laughs> sorry uh, you want this opened as soon as it opens ah there we go you want to take that don't add the readme text thing don't add it because then it won't do much and then what you want to do is you want to come all the way down let me show you what happens after once you uh, do this so when you drag that into here, what happens is this comes in. And as you can see, it's connected up now to... And you can see I've got some mods in here. Yes, i got some mods. So, can't blame me. And plus, it saves you all the time from reinstalling Fallout 3, trying to figure out how to get it working and stuff. But then, once that's done, you want to go and launch up the game. And then go to Data Files. And then you want to find the Fallout 3 error fixes and add it. Because once you add it, you click OK. And then also sort out your files. See, it will change to that probably. If not, then that's fine. And then just set up the settings, set up what you got. And then 3, 2, 1, press play. And then the game will come up. And I promise you, the game does come up. And there you go. The game has loaded. For finally. And there you go. There's Fallout 3, guys. And I just need to turn that down so you can hear me a bit. Sorry. So yeah, that and that's how, guys, you fix Fallout 3. Easy. So remember, guys you got to be careful what you're trying to install because sometimes the mods mess up uh, a lot of stuff and plus you want to make sure that game does work because one whatever you install into here even if you drag and drop it in well or you use vortex or mod manager it can still mess up your fallout 3 and kill it it could happen to the same to Vegas, I don't know. But anyways, uh, that's it for today, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment for more. Put that notification bell on. And also, if you're new to the channel, just go with it. Subscribe, like, and comment for more. And I'll see you in my next videos. And um, I hope this helps out. If you have any questions uh, below, uh, please tell me. And I will try to reply back properly and quickly. Anyways, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.